What's good y'all, it's Bam and I'm back with another wig tutorial video. So I'm just gonna jump straight into this video. If you're new, hi, my name is Bam, subscribe to my channel. And if you're not, welcome back, babe. So right now I'm taking my Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo and I'm putting it inside the bin to lighten up my 613 blonde wig to like tone it down a little bit to get that yellowish um, tint out of it. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna like dip it until I'm satisfied with how light the hair gets. So before I start dipping my hair, I put a middle part on the wig. Um, basically it's like a guide for me. So when I start watercoloring my hair, I'll know where to place the colors at properly. So yeah, it's basically like a guide and it, it's way easier for me. So I'm satisfied of how light the hair got. I didn't really do too much. I didn't dip it a whole lot. I just wanted to like tone it down a little bit. So yeah. So after toning, I'm filling my band back up to start the watercoloring method. So I'm taking this Atomic Pink color by Kiss. And I'm going to start dipping my wig inside that color until I'm satisfied with how pink it gets. I'm really going for like a light pink at the top ombre into like a hot strawberry pink. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. And as y'all can see, I'm not dipping my whole wig inside the bin. Um, I'm leaving blonde roots at the top. So it's going to be like an ombre situation going on. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this atomic pink color, but it just seemed like it was not sticking onto the hair. Like, as y'all can see, I dipped it hella times and it's still like this light pastel pink color. Like, y'all see me clearly putting this color inside the band. Like, I'm putting a whole lot of hair dye inside the band, but every time I like wring it out, the color just comes off. So, I took another color, I'm going to show y'all in a little bit, but I took another color to like fix that. This random y'all, but I barely asked y'all to like follow me on Instagram. I mean, I be having it in the description box down below, but I barely be telling y'all. So make sure to follow me on Instagram at Arts of Bam Craft. I will have it link somewhere on the screen and in the description box also and then my main page the bam i temporarily deleted it but i'll be getting that page back so i'll let you guys know when i'm getting that page back but it will be soon but for now just follow my business page and if you guys are interested in purchasing a wig feel free to dm me on there So this is where the atomic pink was sticking on to the hair a little bit, but this still wasn't the pink that I was going for. So I'm going to show y'all the other color that I used in a minute. So this is the other pink I was talking about. I'm taking this neon pink color from Adore hair dye brand, and I'm going to put that inside the bin with the atomic pink, basically mixing them together and then dipping my hair until I'm satisfied with how pink my hair gets.
so after that I'm taking this Hawaiian fire color by kiss colors and I'm going to put that inside the bin with the neon pink and the atomic pink and I don't know why I did that I shouldn't have never did that in the first place because I'm just gonna like pour this out and put new water inside the bin anyway but this Hawaiian fire color was not it for me at all um it was just basically coming out the same color as the first two pinks I did, the neon pink and the atomic pink. And it's because I put it in the same... No, it wasn't even because I put it in the same bin. Even after I poured this water out and put new water inside the bin, the color still was not it for me. So I'm going to show y'all what I did to get that strawberry pink, that hot strawberry pink. So this is me pouring out the water because I was basically seeing like this is not um um ugh, can I talk? This is not ombre at all. So yeah, little do I know. Even after I put new water inside the bin, it's still not gonna come out right. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did in a little bit. So I'm taking this ruby red color and I'm mixing it with the Hawaiian fire to like heat it up a little bit. Like, <laughs> now I'm just playing, but yeah, to basically get the hot, fiery, strawberry pink that I want. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to mix that ruby red inside the bin with the, um, Hawaiian fire color until I'm satisfied with how my um, color turns out and y'all I talked about mixing hair dyes on my channel before like if you don't have the color that you want just mix some hair dyes together to get that color you don't have to go out and buy a new hair dye just mix some hair dyes together um so I knew that ruby red would like darken up the pink that I wanted so that's why I added it inside the bin so yeah y'all just give me y'all free game and the goal was not to get my ends to be red i just added the red to like darken up the pink a little bit so i am not doing my ends red is just gonna be like a hot hot pink And when you wet your last little bit of hair dye, just put a little bit of water inside the bottle and shake it up real good. And voila, you got more hair dye. So that's another tip for y'all and free game for y'all.
I'm satisfied of how the color came out. It's real, real cute. See y'all, mixing colors will work wonders for real. So now I'm fin to shampoo and condition my hair. And people be asking me what shampoo and conditioner I use. I just use regular Tresemme products. So it's really nothing major. So yeah. So when you have the conditioner on your hair, make sure you always detangle your hair while the conditioner's on there. And then if y'all watch my channel, y'all would know that I love to leave my conditioner on my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out with cold water. So this is basically how the hair looks after it dried and everything. But y'all, y'all need to go cop this new hairspray from the beauty supply store, this new got to be glue hairspray. Y'all, when I tell y'all this hairspray is so good, like this is gonna be the only hairspray I use from now on. It's so lightweight and no matter how much you put on, it will still leave your hair so smooth and soft. Like, so yeah, y'all need to go cop that real quick. I'm just putting y'all up on game. But this is basically it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment on what y'all thought we are on a road to 20k so make sure y'all are subscribed to my channel and hit that bell notification to get notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next video one more thing y'all if y'all want to know how i curled and styled this hair let me know in the comments and i'll make a video for y'all asap i did this with a curling wand Pink, pink, can you sit with me, bitch? What the fuck you think? Think, hell to the fuck no. Oh,